Good afternoon. I haven't been out here in forever. I have my um, pieces cut on my seats. I made a little cross brace and I made a front and a rear brace. These are just 3 16 and everything bridges together. I just got to uh, clean them up a little and take these seats apart and weld the bottom supports at the back where we ground them off. I gotta make all this work with all these new plates. I made some plug weld holes, I got some spots I can hit it in the back, so got plenty to work with, just gotta make it work. And um, I'm gonna have to do it all bolted together. If I'm choking it's because I'm eating these friggin' Canadian winter green mints. Oh well, my Jeep needs a water pump. That's a fun project too. I just had that there so I don't hit the positive battery lead. But here's my brackets, quarter inch holes. I'm gonna bolt everything together and tack it down and uh, work on putting it together. But I wanna take these seat tops off, take the cushions off the bottom, like this one is right now, and uh, get it all rocking. I gotta get rid of this crap too. But it's been a better part of three, probably three or four weeks. Um, this is kind of where I left off. Dawn's over there beating on that 37 Plymouth. We're going to have to get some updated pictures of that. Hey! What you doing? <laughs> Here he comes. Well, my seats are all lined up. I'm going to need a bracket for the middle. Um, these are bolted in. There's a little tab that's going to weld to these underneath. On both ends. There's one under there too. Um, strip across the front looks good. I decided to go with one cross brace. The other one kind of put it off center so I didn't even bother and it got in the way of the the uh, trigger to move the seat back and forth so I didn't even bother with it. I'll just keep it. Um, they don't hang off the edge too much. They're in the perfect spot. The front I have to make some brackets to hold them up a little bit because they have to be able to get the upholstery down and underneath it where it clips onto these wires and stuff. Um, the back I have these little tabs I can weld onto right there and right there on all four of them. There's one here and there's one right there. So that'll be good. But um, I'm going to tack this cross brace in after I clean off the rust and tack that one and uh, go for broke. It's already all bolted down tight. The seats are just sitting in here. I can pull them out, actually. I gotta pull them out anyway, so I'm gonna put them up here. So I'm gonna tack this and tack that one and uh, see about making the center brackets. And I might take the extra piece and I could put it this way, but uh, I'd have to cut it in half or two or something because I gotta get something under this. I'm sure I have a piece of 316 so I could go front to rear on that. Um, as maybe a little more support, I might add a piece of angle iron across the front because, like I was saying, it might springboard a little in the middle. Um, I'm, I have plenty of metal, so I'm not worried about it. There's all kinds of metal here. There's even a piece of angle iron right there. Yeah. It's all rusty, too. That's a bonus. Okay. Yeah, there's my spring. That'll stop the bounciness of the seat. I'm going to put that underneath the front. All right, I'm going to weld this up. Actually, I can make the brackets off of that from that. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to tack weld this up after I clean this rust off and get on it. I welded the little cross brace. I used those tabs, I don't know if you can see it, right there. I used those to connect. It's under the spring, I had to take the spring out. But uh, I gotta take the little ribs out, put the eight springs across the back and take the ribs out. Because um, I'm spacing up the front two inches. I have a piece of um, C channel, and I'm gonna run across the front now. It's not connected to this yet because I want to get it connected to the bottom and smooth all that out first. But um, I can make a little grind curve there so we clear that bolt. Not a big deal. But um, 
now I have to take the whole assembly right off the floor. So this one, two, and four bolts. I'm going to pull the whole thing out and start welding and grinding and all that stuff. Um, the front now, the, the upholstery goes over the front, rolls underneath, and connects to um, these springs. I have to find a way to pick it up. If I can show you. I don't want to move over here. This one. I'd like to keep that idea going. It's got a piece of material that goes over the front. Maybe I can pop a hole in the middle or something and give it clearance so it could still be used, but I'd like to use that. These are going to be reupholstered, of course, but I have to have a way for the front to bolt down. I was thinking maybe a little tab off the front um, to hold it down, or maybe one on each end even, there and there. But I can't do it like this because I can't reach half the stuff, so the only thing holding it in right now is those little tabs. So all these springs got to come out. And then the whole assembly's got to come out, and I got to start tacking across the back. I got to weld that plate on right there. So out it comes. Well, I've been welding the bejesus out of this thing. Those plates are welded down. Um, the two inch C channels welded across the front. I was wrong. I was thinking that the upholstery goes over the front and hooks to the thing. It actually goes over the back, which I have a gap right here, which is perfect, except for those little tabs, which that's no big deal. I can trim that off. Um, now, this is the back support, and what we're worried about is it buckling in the middle here. So, I got a piece of angle iron, just a little piece. I think it's three quarter. And I'll sit it there, like that, and fix the bracket a little, and voila! I mean, it's like it was made to go. And what's nice is on this one, there's a bunch of plug holes that it can be welded through. So the front's beefed up with a piece of C channel, and the back has a piece of three quarter angle iron. That's going to be awesome. And I have room for the upholstery to run underneath the back and around the corner. So we're good to go. I can tack that front down too, because it's not in the way. Um, I need one support. I gotta make something that goes from the center down to the top of the C channel. Um, it leaves a big blank area in the middle. Not that the seats aren't close enough that they don't, that they don't touch, but there's no support right here for these the two inside panels of the seat. So just the strip or whatever it is, like five inches, four inches wide. And I'll probably plug all the bunch of holes there too, so. But uh, I'm about three quarters of the way down with the seat. I got it in the vise, and this table doesn't budge, so that's awesome. Everything's out down here. But uh, it's like 9 o'clock at night, and my neighbor's going to have a cow in a few minutes, so i got to go in. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Today's Saturday. I'm um, doing what I can, and I'd really love to get in this chair, at least all the welding done on it and buttoned up. But have a good night. I gotta get rid of this crap. You have a good night. And don't eat too many Canada mints. They turn your teeth pink. <laughs>